Okay, hi there, this is Neil. In this video we're going to take a look at why you need to choose either a www URL or a URL without the www for your website. Now, many people create a website and they leave both instances of www and the URL without the www live on the internet and can be accessed by people. Now most people don't realize that this can be damaging to the to, to the rankings of your site and I'm going to show you the reason it's you should choose one and how to choose one and di redirect to the other one in case you don't know. First of all, um, let's think of it this way, okay? Let's say you have a page that has your www and then also of course you have your page of not www. Now of course these can be the same thing let's say this is www.example.com and this is just http example.com okay now that's exactly the same site and what will happen is every time you add a new post or a new page to your blog through your if it's a WordPress or a regular FTP upload your new post will automatically go to both instances of your web page because these two are exactly the same they are equal they are they hold exactly the same content the problem is search engines view them as separate instances of the same website. Now this can cause problems with duplicate content sometimes but the main problem is that if you obviously when you're building links as we all know building links back to your website is a main way to build rankings in the, the search engines um, you can split your links and therefore halve the link juice you get to each site. For example if you build one link to the www and that of course will just head to the www and that will give you backlinks to this instance of your site only and of course if you have a link that is not www it will come to this one now if you had a single site or you had a, a redirect going on then both of these would head to a single site and you would double your backlinks. So separating the two instances of, of your website like this can be very damaging to it. So what you need to do is you need to pick one. Basically you need to decide if you want your website to either have www in front of it or not have www. Now which one you choose makes no difference whatsoever. It's a purely personal choice. Um, there is not one that is more effective than the other so it's totally up to you but once you've chosen one let's say you choose to have www personally I like to have www but it, as I say it doesn't matter what you need to do then is you need to put a permanent redirect from this one to the www so basically if a visitor comes along and visits this site he will be redirected automatically to this one and so will the links okay if it's a 301 direct it will take all of the link juice with it so basically anything that comes to this site will get transferred to your www and by doing that you end up with just one single instance of your website and this one never gets touched again okay so how do we do this that is the main point okay well uh, if you're if you're using WordPress, it's extremely easy, and I'll do WordPress first because it's much more straightforward. You go to your WordPress blog, you look down into your settings, and you go into General, and basically here you have your WordPress address URL and your site address URL, and you choose which one you want, and it's as simple as that. If you want www, you write it in here. If you don't, you delete it from both of these. Um, I'm not going to talk about the difference between these. Uh, site address URL is if you want to put the, the the WordPress documentation in a subdirectory but that's not the point here. Basically keep these two the same. Save that 
uh, this will become your WordPress URL and there will be an automatic redirect created from the www okay and obviously I like to have the www so now and I keep it like that so basically if someone types in my address HTTP best baby carrier reviews dot net without the www w it redirects to the www and I haven't done anything else other than go into settings and change that in my general page now that's easy that's straightforward what happens if you're not using WordPress what happens if you're using a regular HTML page and uploading it by FTP or whatever then you need to go to your hosting account I use Bluehost so I go into my Bluehost hosting account to a cPanel if you're on VDeck then go to that uh, but if you're on cPanel you need to go to your cPanel account and basically click on redirects this one here okay once you're at this page uh, you want to leave it on a 301 redirect you want it to be a permanent you want it to be all the time every time someone goes to the one you don't want you want it to redirect to the one you do want okay so you need to pick your domain if it's on this host obviously okay I'm gonna pick my wealth creation online and I'm only going to redirect the non www so do not redirect www and you'll see that has now disappeared so I'm redirecting HTTP colon forward slash forward slash wealthcreationonline.com to www.wealthcreationonline.com so I'm going to redirect the non www to the www okay I'm also going to click the wildcard redirect so the wealth creation online without H, without www any directories under that so wealthcreationonline.com forward slash blog for example if someone types that in it will that will also automatically redirect to the www wealthcreationonline.com forward slash blog directory so everything under the umbrella of the non www will automatically write redirect to the www and I want that I want everything to direct to transfer across not just the home page so I click that and I'm going to add it oh. I'm gonna put my HTTP in now I'm gonna add it okay so wealthcreationonline.com now redirects to www.wealthcreationonline.com okay now if you make a mistake don't worry because this will always be in your hosting account your cPanel and you can go in and edit this at any time and now that would if I go into this one HTTP wealth creation online Dot com should it be in effect automatically because it go this automatically goes to my hosting there you go a redirect to the www version and that is a redirect done and that is how you choose either the www or the non www but you have to choose one having both on the net at the same time can be very very confusing and not good at all for your rankings. Okay, so I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.